Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thanks for tuning into the video. And for this one, you find me sitting in the 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. Now, if you've been shopping around for a 4Runner, you know that it can be a bit intimidating because there's nine grades to choose from, starting from the SR5 all the way up to this top of the line TRD Pro. Now, explaining all the differences between all those grades is worth a video itself, but for this one, I just want to focus on the TRD Pro and also the other TRD grades. I want to talk about all the features that you can get with this SUV, what I like and dislike about it, and to also find out whether the TRD Pro is worth the price or if you're better off going with a cheaper grade. Now, let's first start with what the 4Runner is. This is a legitimate SUV. Now the terms SUV and crossover are interchangeably used nowadays. I'm even at fault for that. But simply put, an SUV has the body sitting on top of a ladder style frame, whereas a crossover has the body and the chassis fused together. They are integrated. And because of that construction, crossovers typically have a little bit more space, they are lighter weight, and they also have better fuel efficiency. And because the marketplace is all about zero to 60 times mileage and also cargo space, you could see why crossovers are much more popular now compared to these SUVs. And these SUVs are actually pretty rare. These guys are still around because these are some of the toughest and most capable vehicles you can buy today. And if you like to go off-roading, this is the perfect SUV to choose from because this has great ground clearance. And this being the four-wheel drive version, this has even more ground clearance at 9.6 inches. And this also has the great approach and departure angles at 33 and 26 degrees respectively. As for the engine, all four runners come with a four liter V6 making 270 horsepower and 278 pound feet of torque. That engine alone is not all that impressive, especially when you combine it with this five speed automatic transmission. But this has the four wheel drive system, so you get a nice two speed transfer case. And with this nice torque multiplier, it truly makes this into a bulletproof off road vehicle. As for space, this is considered a mid-size SUV and it can hold an impressive amount of cargo. Almost 90 cubic feet of space behind the first row and 47.2 cubic feet of space behind the second. Now the model that I'm testing has an optional sliding deck and that takes up a couple of inches of height and sacrifices some space, but it's okay though because this sliding deck is awesome and it allows you to store some heavy things more conveniently. Some of these forerunners can even be equipped with a third row, but those are typically only useful for kids and small adults. As for on-road driving, all forerunners have a truck feel to it. Handling is not great given the high center of gravity and high curb weight. And in this case, the engine and transmission feels mismatched for this size car. Acceleration is lazy and the five-speed transmission moves like a sloth compared to advanced automatic transmissions that you find in newer crossovers. As a result, you have to be a bit more patient driving the 4Runner. It'll do what you want it to do, but it'll just take more time getting there. Ride quality is pretty good though. This is a comfortable SUV to drive. Although the noise situation isn't so great because that four liter V6 sounds like an industrial grade fan when you're trying to get it up to speed. But once you're in highway cruising speed, the noise isn't too bad. But for some forerunners like this TRD Pro, they're equipped with all-terrain tires, which are excellent tires, but in highway speeds, they like to make a lot of noise. As for mileage, these forerunners aren't so great. They're very par for the course for these old school body on frame SUVs. This one gets you 16 city and 19 highway. And as for the interior design, this hasn't changed very much. It works and there's now Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So overall, it's more or less the same experience as the past decade. It certainly shows its age compared to modern crossovers and SUVs. That is the 4Runner in a nutshell. They're great off-road tools, but they are inferior commuter vehicles compared to crossovers. It's really hard to recommend the 4Runner unless you're an off-road enthusiast or like to casually take the road less traveled. And if that's the case, then there's really only four 4Runner grades to choose from. That's the TRD off-road, the TRD Off-Road Premium, the Venture Special Edition, and this TRD Pro. 
Now what sets them apart from all the other grades is the part-time four-wheel drive system with the manual transfer case, the center locking differential, and also crawl control. And now it's probably a good time to talk about part-time versus full-time four-wheel drive. The TRD grades only comes in part-time four-wheel drive vehicles. It comes with these manual style transfer case levers. This is primarily a two-wheel drive system up until you manually select four-wheel drive. And when you want to go into four low, you have to stop, go into neutral, and then push this lever out to 4L. And that'll give you a lot more torque at the expense of speed. The TRD grades will get you this type A manual style lever, whereas on the other grades, you'll get a type B or a dial with the same designation. Now, if you want to get full-time four-wheel drive, you have to go with the limited or the nightshade special edition grade. Basically, those grades come with a different style knob with a Torsen limited slip differential that you can lock. Now, the benefit of a full-time four-wheel drive version is because you don't have to manually switch into four-wheel drive mode. You're already operating in four-wheel drive. So, for example, if you're driving on a highway and it's dry and a storm is coming in and the road gets wet, you don't have to worry about much because you're already putting down as much traction as you can. You're operating in four-wheel drive. And that Torsen limited slip differential, that's going to vary the amount of torque between the front and the rear axle. Whereas if you have a part-time four-wheel drive system like this one, you have to manually engage H4 or high 4. Now, you have to be very careful when you're using four-wheel drive because if you're driving on dry pavement, these systems are really only meant to be used on loose road surfaces. So if you're engaging high four on dry pavement, you could really do some serious damage. Aside from the part-time four-wheel drive system, the TRD grades will also get you a rear locking differential. And that is super helpful when you're driving off-road because if one of your back tires is up in the air, the tire that's touching the ground is going to get torque delivered to it so that it can propel you forward. And for the TRD grades, you'll also get crawl control. That is basically a very low speed cruise control. So you don't have to focus on accelerating or braking. You could just focus on steering when you're going through the off-road trails. So if you just want those off-road upgrades, you don't have to spend the $50,750 starting price of the TRD Pro. And that's before any sort of markup nonsense that you'll get from the dealers. You can get the TRD off-road for $10,000 less. But if you have more money to spend, there are some nice bonuses in the TRD Pro. The biggest upgrade for the TRD Pro is the two and a half inch diameter Fox shocks and the TRD tuned springs. The fronts have a coilover style shock that gives you one inch of additional lift, while the back has a shock with a remote reservoir. These shocks are physically bigger than your stock ones because of the more complex internal plumbing involved. Simply put, these shocks will give you pretty good on-road performance, but can handle some of the more severe higher speed off-road stuff. The TRD Pro also gets you these special 17-inch flow-formed wheels with the special all-terrain tires. Now, flow-forming is one of the best ways of making wheels because they're very strong and they're lightweight, but they're not as expensive as forged wheels. Now, if you don't want to spend the money for the TRD Pro, you can also get these wheels in the Venture Special Edition grade. The most noticeable upgrade of this TRD Pro is, of course, the TRD Pro aluminum skid plate. This makes the Forerunner look even more rugged, and you can only find this part here on the TRD Pro. But if you want, you can easily replicate this look because this is only a $350 part online, and you can install it yourself. And then you have all the other TRD Pro signatures like the special front grill, the TRD Pro badging, the TRD roof rack, the shift knob, TRD lettering on the front seats, and these TRD Pro all-weather mats. One additional bonus is the special color, and for 2021, it's called Lunar Rock. So that's basically what you get in the TRD Pro. Is it worth the extra $10,000 over the TRD off-road? Well, that really depends. Yes, it's worth it if you don't plan on making any major modifications to the TRD Pro. Out the door, the TRD Pro is already a good off-road car. And you could also make the argument that these TRD Pros will hold their value better in the long run just because of its rarity. So that extra premium that you pay up front, hopefully when it comes time for you to sell it, some of that will be retained. 
And no, this is not worth it if you plan on making lots of modifications. You can start with the TRD off-road and spend a little bit of money to make it even better than the TRD Pro and still have some money left over. And of course, you can't forget about the TRD Off-Road Premium and the Venture Special Edition grades that lie nicely in between the Off-Road and the TRD Pro. Now, I wanna hear your thoughts on it. Is the TRD Pro worth the price or would you rather buy something cheaper like the TRD Off-Road and make those modifications yourself? Please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm just gonna wrap it up right there. I wanna thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. I hope you've learned something. And if you did, please consider hitting that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe and that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we make a new video. Let's wrap it up right there. My name is Hansen. This has been the 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, and I'll see you next time.